And now, guys, so what's new in your life? Uh, howdy! <laughs> yes, like uh, one person from Toy Story set. Yes, and today we're gonna watch uh, Dave Chappelle and about me, by the way. I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences and I'm uh, handing this flag in my left arm. You can see this and I I am doing this uh, movements from side to side. And uh, why do I do this? Because I have been learning English for two years and I want to move in in America one day and uh, then everything maybe will be good maybe will be not good uh, it is uh, no no one knows but it is uh, my goal for some uh, for some years maybe even for this year maybe I will accomplish it maybe something will happen and uh, yes uh, will be happened okay we are right now in this video sticks and stones stuff things stuff child Dave Chappelle today we're gonna watch uh, this dude black person with the nice jokes about politics about some of his uh, family issues uh, and uh, things inside of his life about drugstore we watched already about uh, different things we will know further yes and uh, let's do this together with you my dear pancake and uh, let's do this have fun Maybe I will understand, maybe I will not. If you can, please let me know in the comment section below some definitions of words that maybe will be hard to me to understand, that I didn't understand and I was asking what is it, what is it, what is it. Maybe it will appear in this video, okay? But I didn't know that if you're defending your home with a shotgun, the formula dictates that you're supposed to buy both boxes. This was not a formula that I was familiar with. It goes like this, the six shots in 12 gauge shotgun. So when you load the gun, you load it like this. First shot, bird shot. Next shot, buck shot, bird shot. And then after that, gun's Jamaican. Buck shot, buck shot, buck shot. <laughs> it is some uh, wordplay, I think, because uh, it is all about shots and some kind of bird shot. Uh, I understood that he was loading a gun, a shotgun and uh, some stuffs of of different uh, shots that he was doing i didn't understand it correct okay she got a picture it okay like say i'm in bed i'm sleeping and suddenly my wife wakes me up david david wake up and i'm like oh oh look who's coming around and i pull my dick over the top of my pajamas <laughs> like, like it was a story. Like, look, look at uh, this person who ca uh, who who came in. But uh, it was uh, it was this small t tummy banana. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> or not small because uh, he's a black people, <laughs> black person. And she says, "No, I hear something." I go, "Oh, this bitch!" So I get up out of bed. Uh, Grab the gun. I say, wait here, baby, I'll go check it out. Just lock the door behind me. <laughs> oh my God, she's right. Right there in the kitchen is a heroin addicted white and... <laughs> she's right, like she's right, and but she's right in the kitchen. Is it a pun? Yes, like uh, she was right, like... Uh, how to say it correct? She was right uh, as uh, correct. And right in means that right means forwarded in this place, located. <laughs> He's digging through the change job by the door. Hmm, hmm. I worked really hard for that change. I gotta do something. So first, I wrap the shotgun. Hey, motherfucker, click clack. <laughs> That's a test. That click clack sound will stop a rational human being in their tracks. But sure enough, this person is not rational. They're sick on drugs. They're digging into change. Hmm, hmm. I gotta act fast. This nigga's almost got a dollar fifty. I warned you, Birdshot. And there goes hot BBs will permeate his yellow heroin skin. Remember, I'm not killing him. I'm just peppering him up nice. <laughs> Ah, Burke shot, it is uh, shot of uh, pepper, yes? In Russia we use salt. He lets out a heroin... But we don't have enough of... Uh, no, I mean that we don't have a law to to have a gun. It is not uh, legal and to be 
legal need to have a specific license and uh, you have you should have uh, two safes that uh, inside of the safes will be your uh, your gun screen yeah. <laughs> And that should be the end of it. But, uh-oh, I miscalculated. While he's on the ground screaming, I noticed that his teeth are horribly miscolored. That's not heroin at all, is it? That's crystal meth. He pops right back up, unscathed. Rawr! He mentioned some people, I think, that some famous people, uh, but I don't know who are they. Like, meth, uh, who? <laughs> Time for the heavy stuff. Clack, clack, buckshot! <laughs> and then if you got a friend with him, I got one more bird shot left. And I repeat the cycle. After that, nigga, it's slugs for everybody. <laughs> and I'll be in a kitchen full of dying heroin addicts saying stupid heroin last words. <laughs> uh, like uh, one addicted man went to he broke to his house, yes? Shot me, bro! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurts, man. It hurts. Uh, the last words are always the dumbest words. Like, uh, why is your dick out? <laughs> None of these details added up at all. He said he's walking down the street in Chicago and, and, and uh, white dudes come up to him and say, hey man, aren't you that faggot nigger from Empire? A, a fuck? Does that sound like how white people talk? I know white people. They don't talk like that. Are you that faggot nigger from Empire? They would never say that. It sounds like something that I would say. Like, only he ca could use this uh, offensive language, yes? If you're a racist and homophobic, you're not even gonna know who this nigga is. You can't watch Empire. <laughs> Black people never feel sorry for the police, but this time we even felt sorry for the police. Can you imagine if you was a police veteran taking this kid's police report? Okay, Mr. Smoulier, please tell me what happened. All right. You. 2 a.m. He left the house at 2 a.m. It's minus 16 degrees. And... <laughs> All right. I can't relate to that because uh, we it is uh, temperature in Fahrenheit and uh, 30 Fahrenheit. Okay, how much is it? Three Fahrenheit. I don't know how to write it. Correct even Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay, minus one Celsius. Easy. In Russia, it is uh, like uh, nowadays we we have it. It is 19th of October. We have right now temperature of uh, minus one to plus three Celsius daily. You are walking. You are walking. All right. <laughs> and and where were you going? Subway. <laughs> Sandwiches. That's when the men approach you? Did you see them? Do you have any? Okay, what, what do they have on? MAGA hats! MAGA hats on in Chicago? Who are they, MAGA hats? Excuse me one second, Mr. Smoulier. Frank, come here for a second. Find out where Kanye West was last night. I didn't catch this joke, excuse me. Such a fucking outrageous story. He said they put a rope around his neck. Has anyone here ever been to Chicago? Yeah. All right, all right, so you've been there. Now tell me, how much rope do you remember seeing? <laughs> Who the fuck is carrying rope? Like, when did you get mugged, nigga, in 1850? Who's got rope? <laughs> Who's got rope? <laughs> Man, that shit was awful. So, okay. I'm doing a show somewhere, and I'm on stage, 
And I was a little drunk, you know. And I figured, fuck, let me talk about that nigga a little bit. I figured to be safe, because, you know, everybody's phones are locked up. And I went in on this kid. I was talking all kinds of shit. Now, I didn't know that there was a journalist in the audience. And unfortunately for me, that motherfucker took impeccable notes. <laughs> like a journalist, and he was speaking a lot of N words and F words and mother N words uh, and F words and uh, another stuff, yes? <laughs> And drug he me. told everybody everything I said. He was even putting the jokes in the headline. The headline said, Dave Chappelle says he wants to smash a dollhouse over Juicy Smouye's head. Like, uh, take a dollhouse and smash it on the head. I remember it somewhere. I heard it somewhere. I don't remember it is from Dave Chappelle. I don't remember where did I hear where I heard the story, is it uh, from from Stephen King book? Or is it from uh, from stand-up comedian? I think that this Louis C.K. Or maybe not. Maybe Dave Chappelle. <laughs> I thought for sure when I read that headline, I said, well, that's it for me. I'm cancelled. Cancelled means that uh, he will be cancelled to the next shows, yes? Lucky for me, that very same day, the Chicago police caught the motherfuckers that actually did it. And, hilariously, they were both uh, Nigerian. Not only were they not white, they were very, very black. They were Nigerian, which is the funniest shit. The whole story is funnier now. This is Maga country, you fuggot nigga. You forgot me, <laughs> If If you're in a group that I made fun of, then just know that I probably will only make fun of you if I see myself in you. I make fun of poor white people because I was once poor. And I know that the only difference between a poor black person and a poor white person is that a poor white person feels like it's not supposed to be happening to them. <laughs> Like, uh, black people understand that they are slaves or something like this. I, I, don't, I don't mean it for you if you are a black person. I mean that, that uh, history said it for some times, tough times, maybe times of depression and uh, slavery on plantations and some specific yards. And uh, you understand it, yes, when you was collecting some tea leaves <laughs> from the trees or bushes and right now you're collecting w wheat bushes everything else is the same i know what it's like to have a cold house i wasn't allowed to touch the thermostat growing up without asking my father and it would be fucking freezing in the house i'd be like dad please can i please just turn the heat up to like i don't know 32 niggas it's really cold <laughs> And my dad would say, just put more clothes on, David. Got all three of my outfits on, nigga. Will you look at me? I'm freezing up here. And he'd say, just don't think about how cold you are, David. And I said this, I didn't say it to him, but I said it in front of him so he could hear it. I said, I fucking hate being poor. And my dad got really upset. He didn't scream or holler, that wasn't his way. He just threw his newspaper on the floor and he said, David, 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 you are not poor. He said, poor is a mentality. He said it's... Exactly, it is a good lesson. A mentality that very few people ever recover from. Don't you forget it, son. You are broke. <laughs> what is broke? Uh, 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 they are laughing and it is maybe a good joke, but broke it is... Condition maybe, when something happened... Need your broke having completely run out of money past or break what does it mean let me know what's the funniest thing of it i understand that maybe he, he 
he's supposed to said that you are rich, like a mind rich, but broke, what is? Okay, okay. He said, these are just financial circumstances that I hope to overcome one day very soon. And I said, well, Dad, whatever you want to call this, uh, it's wildly uncomfortable. <laughs> there was a big dance coming up in the middle school. I was 12 years old. I said, Dad, can I go to the dance? He said, of course you can go to the dance. I want you to get out and meet some more kids. I said, great. Uh, it costs $3 to get in. And my dad said, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, son. Uh, I don't have it. I was like, what the fuck? You don't have three dollars? Well, then how are we alive, Dad? <laughs> Wish I found some way out of this hell. I'd do anything to not be poor. I will show Michael Jackson my anus if I get a chance. <laughs> I just gotta get out of this hell. Dad said, if you want to go to the dance bad enough, I'll tell you what, there's some money in the change jar, get the money from there. I was 12 years old, that's what I did. I showed up to the dance early. There's a long line of kids waiting behind me while I'm at the door trying to count out 300 pennies to get inside. I will never forget this shit as long as I fucking live. Oh man, you know, if you've been poor, you know what that feels like. You ashamed all the time. Feels like it's your fault. And all them kids was laughing, ha 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 ha. Look how poor Dave Chappelle is. Like when I think back at it, that's really the only time in my life that I ever thought to myself, I should kill everybody at school. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody, and good night. It's inspirational. I'm not so, like, uh, running for, for the money. And, uh, but this story is inspiration be inspirational because I can relate to this and uh, I, I'm not a rich person in kind of, in uh, things of money, like uh, in having money. And uh, when I was young in, uh, in my school, I told, I, I was talking about the story already, I have talked, uh, but uh, I will uh, tell you about this story again. It is uh, when I was at my school and uh, I was sitting uh, on geography, geography classes. Uh, it is like uh, our places when we sit down. I was sitting in this table and uh, behind me was one more person. His name is Jenya and uh, he said like, oh, Igor, you have so poor, so like uh, not really costful costful shoes, not really nice, um, how to say it, what's the name of it, uh, co conver no, not converses, uh, she wears t-shirt, high heels, uh, sne sneakers, sneakers, <laughs> I, I, I try to remind it uh, through songs like a kid, and uh, he said that I was wearing sneakers uh, with a cheap uh, with a cheap uh, price tag because on this uh, on this uh, shoes was writing on the footprint you could you could read like uh, it is 450 rubles or 350 uh, it is it was small number it is uh, almost like a, like to go one 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 time to the movie yes and uh, that's all and uh, it cost this way, and he laughed about it, and he was speaking to all people. But I understand it is his mindset of things that uh, he was running to these things. I really do hope that uh, I I hope that uh, he changed he changed his mindset. If he is uh, with uh, the same mindset, that okay. Yes, I wish him to do better things. But okay, our video is ended. I understood a bit of stories about shotgun, about uh, about cock was the most funniest, about like uh, penis that was uh, out of it, uh, and uh, it was uh, a pun or a bit of wordplay in this joke, and uh, nice, and. Uh, and other things uh, were funny too, but uh, it is not like a super, like, joke full for me. Yes, it is uh, not like my, what I can relate fully to, to understand it. That, uh, maybe I don't have enough vocabulary to relate to it. 
okay? Thank you a lot for watching, have a wonderful day, uh, improve your fantasy worlds inside of your mind and always uh, go further, faster and uh, be great and uh, improve your mind and uh, imagination. Everything will be in your, right, uh, in your uh, life uh, better, I hope. And uh, I wish you only the best. See you next time. Bye-bye.